There are 178 laws that differentiate on the basis of sex. Women can't work overtime. We have to get credit cards in our husband's name. We're not allowed to work in the Something is This is a The film on the basis of sex follows the challenges Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg faced in a man's world, starting with her first year as a law student at Harvard in 1954. Welcome to Harvard Law School. Ladies, let's go around the table and report who you are and why you're occupying a place that could have gone to a man. The film also looks into her private life as a mother and a wife. At some point, she was supporting her convalescent husband, who had suffered testicular cancer, by attending both her classes and his at Harvard. Daniel Stiepelman, the film's screenwriter and Justice Ginsburg's nephew, told VOA that apart from Ruth Bader Ginsburg's legal acumen and her inroads to women's rights, he wanted to share his first-hand experience of Justice Ginsburg's equal partnership with her husband, renowned tax law attorney Martin Ginsburg. My, my wife and I have always looked to Aunt Ruth and Uncle Martin as our role models for what a marriage is supposed to be like. They shared the load raising their kids and getting food on the table and taking care of the house, and we knew that that's how we wanted to be as well. You've been ready for this your whole life, so go in there and let the judges see the Ruth Ginsburg I know. Actor Army Hammer interprets Martin Ginsburg. I think it's great for women to see a movie about a woman who changed the world without needing superpowers. Felicity Jones plays Justice Ginsburg, a role she found, to say the least, challenging. It was nerve-wracking at first, you know, you don't enter into that lightly, so um, it was about um, becoming her in every single way and, and, and doing justice to her story. I ask no favor for my sex. All I ask of our brethren is that they take their feet of our next. The documentary RBG chronicles Justice Ginsburg's life from birth to her immigrant Jewish family in Brooklyn, New York, to her fights and legal victories for gender equality before the Supreme Court. That led to her appointment to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1993 by President Bill Clinton and then her rise as a pop culture icon after publications and websites coined her as Notorious RBG. Every time Justice Ginsburg wrote a dissent, the internet would explode. Do you mind signing this copy? I am 84 years old and everyone wants to take a picture with me. <laughs> Sue Cassidy has dedicated a box to her as part of the company's phenomenal women chocolate line. She has her own box and we can't keep them in stock. They are just selling like crazy. A year after the death of her husband, Justice Ginsburg spoke with VOA's Julie Tabo about her legacy. I hope that I will be remembered as someone who loves the law, loves her country, loves humanity, prizes the dignity of every individual, and works as hard as she can with whatever talent she has to make the world a little better than it was when I entered it. Justice Ginsburg has spoken highly of both films depicting her. Filmmaker Mimi Letter says that the justice offered advice on the film on the basis of sex and fact-checked it. She saw the film and she gave me a hug and a kiss and that alone was incredible. I feel that women will be inspired, not just in this country, but all over the world by the legacy of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, which is her fight for equality, inclusion, her fight against injustice. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom, Your Honor. Penelope Kulu, VOA News. Washington.